People at this UN-run camp in Difa say they no longer fear violence from Boko Haram, but their problems are far from over. We are not scared here, but we are hungry and thirsty. Thousands of refugees have crossed the border from Nigeria to Niger to get away from the armed group. Some people only narrowly escape the violence. I was helping the army as a guide when a landmine exploded. I was taken to the hospital. The army left me there. Then I moved with my family to Niger. Boko Haram fighters got close to Niger's border town of Difa. But a joint task force from West African nations has now pushed them out of Nigeria's Borno state. Life is still strictly controlled in Difa. Last year we thought that Boko Haram might control Difa, but now the area is 100% safe. We feel secure. There's no security issue. Our problem is the curfew imposed from 7 in the evening until the next morning. The Lake Chad region used to be a place for trade, but the violence has made it hard to do business. People don't even feel safe enough to go farming or fishing anymore. The region has taken a hit. The areas bordering Lake Chad, the heart of the region, is where we do most of our economic activities. Unfortunately, it's an area that's been infested by this group. Hopefully, soon, the populations will come back to their homes and their daily businesses. But because of the constant threat of attacks, these activities have taken a hit. Over the last two years, at least 190,000 Nigerians have had to flee to neighboring Chad, Cameroon and Niger. And Boko Haram continues to make life difficult for many people in the region. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.